Welcome back to my channel and thank you for taking on this video. So today, I say today but really and truly, like, basically, this is like a, I don't know how to put it. It's a vlog but it's like a diary entry, well it's a diary entry for me. Basically I just wanted to show like, I never really say or like talk about my degree. But I wanted to like bring you in so you can like have a little insight of what it's like. And since it's, I'm going into my final year, I could basically vlog it and show you guys what I get up to. But before all that, right now, oh, this is so hard. Basically, I had a dream that I was recording this and I was just like, I'm going to do it. Basically... I'm currently doing retake, so I need to do three retake exams um, just because the three modules, like basically the exams were 70% of the module and the coursework was 30%. So even though my coursework was good, if the exam wasn't up to scratch, then I would have to redo the module. So right now, I'm redoing just the exams for the module. I was only like two or three percent of all of them all of the ones that i'm redoing but i was still off so i still got it and i had ha it's weird me saying because i actually haven't said it out loud because i don't know i was embarrassed i was shy but there's nothing to be embarrassed about like people retake i've retaken exams before i don't know why this time i was just extra like i don't know i just felt some way but I've retaken exams for GCSE A levels and now my degree. Like I've re I've been retaking exams, um, but I don't know. I feel like this time there was more pressure because just like external pressure and obviously COVID and everything. And even though I did my summer exams in lockdown, I felt like I had it like in the bag. But so many factors to add to it. We didn't really finish. Um, studying on campus, we didn't finish loads of things, um, confusion, Zoom lectures, like there's so many factors into it but basically I'm retaking three exams next week so today is Saturday the, what is the day? 22nd of August and I have three exams, one on Tuesday the 20, yeah, Tuesday the 25th, Wednesday the 26th and Friday the 28th of August those are when my exams are so that's when I'll be sitting my exams and on top of that guys I broke my camera it's finally getting fixed now but right now I'm filming on my iPad so the quality might not be the same and also um, I don't know if I'm looking at you or the screen like I don't know what I'm looking at but yeah I'm just yeah I've got like yeah i don't know i've gone all shy and weird i never really speak about this but i feel like it's important to share um stuff like this even though my platform's not even like massive but especially as it's a level and gcse results they like recently it has been you no know, loads of people have been discouraged and yeah just to like i don't know my way of trying to encourage you that you're not alone and you'll get through it regardless of what my results are after this like i'll get through it and i'm still an engineer so yeah but i'm just gonna be like i'll just like tell you and like drop in and out when i'm doing my last minute revision and before exams after exams all of that i'll just like drop in and update you so it's going to be like a weekly vlog type of thing i don't know if i'll put it out after i get my results or um just after my exams i don't know i'll figure it out but yeah just thought i'd let you guys in and that's also why i haven't been as um 
consistent as I wanted to be like since I found out that I had to retake three exams I was just like I just came off YouTube for a long time but um you guys have still been supporting me a lot I've got some new subscribers so thank you so much and content coming soon but yeah I've got this so yeah So I put my retainers in, so if I'm speaking weird it's because of that, but today is, well not today, tonight is the night before my first reset exam and I'm not nervous, but I don't know, I don't know how I feel, I'm just like going over some stuff now and I don't know <laughs> I don't know I just praying and hoping that the questions are similar to the one I did in summer otherwise <laughs> I don't know hey guys so it's the morning of my first exam um obviously I'm doing that at home because of covid so I'm just going over some stuff and yeah, just waiting right now. It's like 7 a.m., 7:19 a.m., and the exam's at 10 to 1. So I'm just reading over some old notes. I'll probably go make a tea, pray, and then do my exam at 10. But yeah, just for I check it. Right now, how do I feel? Last night, I said I didn't feel nervous, but then I couldn't sleep. Um, today, I woke up at my alarm went off at 6.30. And then I woke up, and I forgot I had an exam. Until I was like, wake up. And then, just felt normal, I don't know. I don't feel nervous or anxious, which is good, but I want to get an exam mode, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just for a chicken, but I'll probably come back after the exam. Lovely day in sunny England. Hi guys, so basically... I finished my I look horrible <laughs> it's exam season allow me um but basically I finished my exam like four hours ago but I was just like cooling off relaxing for a bit just because I need to revise for tomorrow's um because as I said I have three and I had one today I'm gonna have one tomorrow which is Wednesday 26th of August and then one on Friday which is Friday 28th of August and obviously today is Tuesday 25th of August so today's one, um, I answered all the questions, which is basically my goal for every single um, paper because my main problem was that I didn't answer all the questions for the ones that I did in summer, which is why I'm resitting because obviously the ones that I did, the marks weren't enough for me to obviously complete the module. So, I answered all the questions for today's one. I ran out of time on the last question, like the last part of the last question. So it wasn't like sufficient that like sufficient enough. It wasn't as good as I'd want it to be. Like it wasn't so It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But I answered it. Um, there's a train. Yeah, it wasn't a sufficient enough answer for my liking. That's what I was trying to say. But. I put something down anyway so yeah that's how today's one went um tomorrow's today's one was the like lowest grade yeah lowest grade that I got 
so I'm just praying and hoping that goes up and then tomorrow's basically the exams go in order of like grades so tomorrow's one I got a better grade on than today's one last time and then obviously the last one I got the best grade on than out of all of them but obviously weren't enough because I didn't finish the paper so I didn't have enough to complete the module but um yeah so basically I don't need as much oh I did the train basically I don't need that as many marks as I needed for today's one but tomorrow's is harder than today's one so I think tomorrow's is the hardest one out of all of them and then Friday's is like hard but I can handle it I think I'm waffling now anyway but today's was all right just yeah but I did have I had the most prep for today's one just because it was the lowest grade anyway but um yeah today's was just yeah it just yeah anyway I'll see you tomorrow As you can see, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm so over it. It's so cold. I'm so tired. I'm hungry. Everything. It's now 8.25. I got up at 6.30. I stayed in bed and relaxed from bed because it was cold. Now I'm at my desk. I just finished my exam. Mm. I don't know. I just I don't know for this one. I missed out twenty four percent because I didn't answer this. But I don't know. Goodbye. I look terrible. I look. But hi guys. So it's the morning of my final exam, and today I'm feeling like the greatest that I've felt all of this week um I feel so motivated I don't even know who I am <laughs> like compared to how I felt on Wednesday and the start of this week it's crazy but I just thank God that he's given me strength to understand stuff this exam I'm so grateful it's just like it's like all coming back to me for this exam I think because it's mainly math space and there's like loads of equations so I'm like remembering stuff again um but yeah just thank god that it's revision this morning is going good it's 8 20 now so I have about an hour and a bit until my exam my exam's at 10 again i'm whispering because everyone's sleeping but yeah i'll let you know how the exam goes hi guys i don't even know if you can see me properly um i finished my exam seven hours ago but i've been so ill like even towards the end of the exam i was so ill like mother nature had just came and knocked the whole team and I had some bad cramps whilst I was like, finishing off the paper but thank god I was able to answer all the questions and I think this was actually my best paper so far so we have the spray it goes well and yeah just waiting on the results now but exams done hi guys 
um, please ignore my hair, I'm currently doing my braids, but just thought I'd update you on my whole uni situation. But basically, I got my results back yesterday. <laughs> I didn't pass one module, I was 3% off passing this module, right? And I don't know if I explained it, but it's the module that, um, it was a design module and we had coursework to do and the exam was based on the coursework and I didn't finish my coursework because so many different reasons why I didn't finish my coursework. So I was 3% off passing because of this exam. And they're basically saying I either have to change my degree, so it's a non-accredited degree, which I'm not doing because I did not, I did not do three years of engineering to get a non-accredited degree, do you get what I mean? I'm going to finish my degree, whether it's next year or this year, I'll finish my degree. Or to resit the module again, but then it means I have to, um, finish a year after my class so I'd be graduating in 2022 basically and I have a meeting today to talk about all of my options and what I'm praying for is they allow me to by the way all of my modules this year were core modules so I didn't get a choice in picking any of my modules I had to do all of the modules that they gave me and I didn't get a no detriment policy which so many other people got but my degree did not give me that so even though we're in a pandemic and all of my modules are core I have to pass all of them or I don't get my engineering degree so there's so many factors to it but I have a meeting today and what I'm praying for is that I could carry on this module into my final year so it'll be like an extra module that I'd have to do so yeah that's what we were up to but I just thank god that I passed the rest of them um passed them well as well like the other research that I did it was actually really good but it's just this one because I know if we weren't in a pandemic I know if I finished that coursework, I wouldn't be in this situation, but I'll come back after my meeting. Hi guys, um, ignore how I look, but as you can see, I am happy because it's like two days after because I needed to process it and let everything sink in, that God is faithful, basically. So... I think I told you in the previous clip that what I wanted was to, um, if I had to redo the module, was to carry it on so I can still do my final year. And I am able to do that. I don't have to change courses or anything. I just literally have to pass this module because all of the modules are core because my degree is engineering and um, degrees like engineering, like medical degrees and all of that, like they have to, you have to pass every single module, um, just because they're accredited degrees and they're just like, because of the profession, you have to pass every single module, but I'm allowed to carry on that module and still finish my final year and graduate next year, which is what I wanted, so praise God, he's faithful, um, and yeah, what I wanted has come to pass, so I'm going to start in that, well I'm waiting for my timetable, but we're back on track basically, back on track and I'm going to graduate next year. As in, the time I was supposed to graduate, I'm going to graduate. I'm just so relieved, it was so overwhelming that process, it was just so long, but I feel like loads of people don't talk about this, like, when it comes to uni, people just talk about, like, graduating, um, getting the best grades, um, like, social life and stuff like that, but no one talks about, like, retakes, struggles, hardships of uni, 
but um, I think I finally built the courage to do so because my uni experience has just been a madness. Like one day I will sit down and like explain from start to finish my whole uni experience. My whole education experience has just been mad. Like it's just been like, but yeah, I don't know if it's because I choose hard subjects to do, but then it's like, I have the ability to do so but then when I get there I struggle but then I always end up like doing it in the end like it's one day I'll sit down and explain the whole thing but yeah I just came to say your girl's gonna graduate <laughs> and yeah so I'm in my final year and let's get it like I'm ready I'm so motivated to do well do you know what it is? I'm just motivated to finish, do well. In Jesus' name, I'll get a good grad job in the field that I want to do. And yeah, let me know if you like these videos because I feel like people need to know about like retakes, resitting, stuff like that because I feel like loads of people go through what I go through but just no one talks about it because no one wants to talk about like I hate the word failure, so I'm not going to use that word because we're not failures. No one wants to talk, talk about the struggles and the hardships of what we go through. Like everyone just wants to say, um, like, all of the good stuff, but no one talks about, like, the behind the scenes and the lessons that we've learned. But I will do that for you guys because you're not alone. And it is hard, like, it is hard, like, is hard but yeah welcome to the first episode of my diary entry series which is basically me talking about the struggles of uni <laughs> make sure you like comment and subscribe see you in the next one